Hello, Hannah. We're on the way to my house to take a look in my worm bin to identify the two species of composting worms that you're caring for and I've been caring for for many years. And on the way, we're stopping here at Wyola Shave Ice. I live on Wyola Street. So if you've ever picked up worms from me or you've per gotten some vermicast from, from us, they're packed in these wonderful ice cream tubs, which we get from Wyola Shave Ice. We really appreciate that they allow us to reuse their containers. So um, not only do they make great shave ice, but they make really good reusable containers for us. And let's go down the street to my house and we'll take a look at our worm bin and pull out a couple of worms to look at, to identify. Hey, Worm Ohana. Today we're gonna look at um, a couple of different worms and I'll show you what you're aiming for with a very, very robust worm colony. So let's go take a look at my wormies and we'll pull some out and take a close look at the two species that we want to examine today. So there's plenty, plenty, plenty of food in my bin and lots and lots and lots of worms processing it. Okay, my worms look really great, don't they? I'm real proud of them. And uh, so now I'm gonna dig out a, a few and uh, we'll bring them over to the park nearby and spread them out and have you take a look at the two species of worms in your bin, Icenia fetida and Perionix excavatus. And I encourage you to do the same. You're gonna dig out a couple of worms and see if you can identify the two species of epigeic worms in your bin. It's really fun. Let's take a look. Okay, we're Mohana. Today we're going to look at the different species of our composting worms in our bin. We hauled a few out and we're going to take a, a look up close and personal so that you too can identify the two different species you have in your bin. Now remember, these are epigeic worms. They are surface dwellers, surface feeders. They, uh, their job is to process decaying organic matter. Their natural habitat is on farms processing manures. They live in dense colonies. They have high metabolic rates. They have high reproductive rates. And because they have a pretty easy lifestyle, living around, living in lots of soft, fluffy stuff and eating soft food all day, they're pretty fragile. So let's take a look at the two that you're gonna dig out of your bin and see if you can identify them as well. So our first species we're looking at today is Perionyx excavatus. You can call them Perionyx for short. They, are, they also have common names, the Indian blue worm or the blue worm, and that blue part comes from when they're, when they're in the sun, there's kind of a, an iridescent blue sheen to them, but they're all the same color, and, and there's lots of color variation among worms. That's why I don't like using the common names. I prefer to use the scientific names, their generic name, Perionyx. And as you can see, they have very slim body builds. They're long and thin. And you can see the clitellum, which is that structure that creates the egg case. It's fairly close to the head. It doesn't pooch out at all. It's a smooth clitellum. See that? And as all epigeic worms, they live in dense colonies. They eat huge amounts of decaying organic matter, create copious amounts of vermicast, and they're very, very hardy epigeic worm, but again, they need to live in soft, wet conditions, lots of food, and you would never, never put these guys in the soil. They live for generations upon generations with ever seeing a speck of dirt. So here's Perionyx. This is very common on all the islands. 
But the only place you're going to find them is on farms where you have a lot of manure and moisture. And the, the, these guys are very lively. They really zip right along. So, okay, perionyx, long, slim, clitellum, close to the head. It's a smooth clitellum. It doesn't pooch out. Okay, everybody look for a perionyx excavatus. Dig them out of your bin and identify them. Okay, and now I've brought out this second worm in our bin. This is Icenia fetida. You can call them Icenia for short. And their common name is red wiggler, red worm, tiger worm. But again, I prefer the Latin term because no matter where you are in the world, everyone will know Icenia fetida. So here's Icenia. They have a stouter body build. They're a lot less active. Of course, right now they're in the sun, so everybody's trying to get out of this. But if you look very carefully, you can spot the clitellum, which is located further down on the body, and it pooches out. Everybody see that? See that clitellum? That's the structure that makes the egg case. It's further down on the body, it pooches out, and it's an easy way to identify Icenia. I can tell them from across the room just by body language. They are much slower moving, much more laid back, big eaters, big poopers, very, very hardy, terrific to have in our bins, and also found in the wild only on farms where there's lots of manure to eat and plenty of moisture. So dig in your bin, pull out a worm, see if you can identify Icenia fetida, the red worm. So the two guys in our bin, Perionyx and Icenia, are really common, really effective in their job, doing their job, and real fun to look at. So take a moment to pull some worms out of your bin and see if you can identify Perionyx and Icenia by their body build, by the location and shape of their clitellum. And that's your two worms, Perionyx and Icenia.